When you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. There is a winner inside of you. Sometimes we just have been around negativity for way too long, developed the mindset of a winner. The truth is, most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average lifestyle. But it really doesn't matter what most people do. What do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will never not listen to the average. You will always listen to the winner in you. You will believe in yourself when no one else does. You will believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe. And you will never, ever quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time right now. Some of you are going through the fight of your life. Fighting for your future, fighting for your career, fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I'm telling you, don't quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down. But if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result you will find, the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward. And it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare get back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget you are in that moment writing your own legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? Well, do you? When you come up to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. Even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare ever settle. And don't you dare ever back down. Fight for what you want or fight against what you don't want at a later time. And always know that God is right there with you. Just allow God to guide and direct you. And you will always be a winner. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today radio show in combination with the YouTube version on channel Take Your Life Back Today show. My friends, time is the most valuable thing a man can spend. Don't we all wish we had more time? Time to spend with loved ones, time to finish solving a problem, time to eat, time to pray, time to love, time to exercise more, time to travel to all the continents on the globe, time to finish that project, time to take that driving, uh, that diving course, yoga class, or self-improvement seminar, Time to chat with our grandparents. Time to visit an old friend. Time to aid the poor. Time to listen to the news. Time to challenge yourself. Time to meditate. Time to do volunteer work. Don't we all had wish we had more time to listen to a friend in need? Time to have dinner with your partner. Time to have dinner with your family even. Time to be adventurous. Time to parachute if you'd like to do that. Or time to to pray and to play. Time to listen within. Time to cook wholesome meals. Time to do nothing. And time to do everything. Time to feel what you really feel. Time to dream and time to be. I know I've spent a lot of time doing the wrong things in the past and making mistakes. We all have. But even so, I've learned something from all of it that in itself means it wasn't so wrong after all. I also spent a lot of time thinking of what little time I had and how I wish I had more time. As we get older, we start feeling that way. Not so good if all it does is stress you out. However, if it compels you to take charge and make a plan for how to reach all those wonderful dream goals, then it's a good thing. I'm getting there, falling and getting up over and over and over again, losing time along the way. I read an analogy about time once. Imagine there is a bank. 
that every morning deposits $86,400 into your account. And every day it happens over and over and over again. The only catch is, is according to this idea, is that you cannot save a particular deposit until the next day. The $86,400 you get in the morning is gone in the evening. You can't use any of it in advance and you can't pile it up after. What would you do? Would you think carefully about how you use every single uh, dollar every single day? The thing is, we all have this account available to us, except instead of money, it's time we get to use 86,400 seconds to spend every single day. And at the end of the day, those seconds are gone. Does the thought stress you out? Can you see the seconds bleeping away? Well, the seconds will bleep and bleep and bleep. You cannot hold on to them. But you can use them wisely. And by wisely, I am not talking about producing stuff. Well, at least not all the time. But perhaps you can change how you look at your life when you see it in the seconds as they're taken away. Think about having this account with a limited time deposit each and every day by the almighty God called seconds. Does it make you think of living differently? You can't live in the future. You can't live in the past. You live in the present using the seconds available to you from God right now. Yes, living now involves some sort of planning ahead, but the secret is to invest your time smartly so that you get the best possible return in terms of health, happiness, and success. How do you do this is up to you. Here are some of the things you possibly could do. You can plan and organize to create what you want and also what you need. If you want to lie in bed, make sure that uh, is what you really want to do and not just something that happened because you were lazy. Look after yourself. Look after yourself, whether it be by exercising, eating healthy, meditating, practicing yoga, having fun, or all of the above. Spend time with people who matter to you, who build you up and not bring you down. When you have meetings at work that seem pointless, see if you can make them more effective or more meaningful by maybe being more productive. If you are in a job that doesn't make you feel warm and fuzzy, a job that doesn't sing to you each and every day you go in, that isn't your dream job, see if you can take some steps on getting closer to your dream and start now. Folks, in the meantime, focus on how you can positively affect co-workers, clients, and people you meet and making a difference in this beautiful world. Find magic on your way to work or in your lunch break. Stop dwelling on the past. It's gone. Now, this is really a waste of time. Yes, learning from our past is a good thing, but not dwelling on it because it will not change your future. Become friends with the things that scare you most. Invite the fearful moments and see how scary stuff disappears or you realize they aren't that scary in the first place. Face your demons. Stop stressing or trying to be perfect all of the time. We can't. Just be you that God created. Be you. Think about the seconds every morning when you wake up and ask yourself, how will I use my time assets today that God gave me? Time passes. Use your account wisely. Say thank you to God. Use it according to what's important to you. And don't waste a second. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And remember, God truly loves you. He is waiting for you to say, help me, guide me, direct me. And God will be there with an extending arm. And he will help you each and every day for the rest of your life. May God bless you. Take good care and have a great day. Bye-bye now. Bye. When you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. 
There is a winner inside of you. Sometimes we just have been around negativity for way too long, developed a mindset of a winner. The truth is, most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average lifestyle. But it really doesn't matter what most people do. What do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will never not listen to the average. You will always listen to the winner in you. You will believe in yourself when no one else does. You will believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe. And you will never, ever quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time right now. Some of you are going through the fight of your life. Fighting for your future. Fighting for your career. Fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I'm telling you, don't quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down. But if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result you will find, the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward. And it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare get back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget you are in that moment writing your own legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? Well, do you? When you come up to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. Even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare ever settle. And don't you dare ever back down. Fight for what you want or fight against what you don't want at a later time. And always know that God is right there with you. Just allow God to guide and direct you. And you will always be a winner. 